Welcome to the Syngenta Blackgrass Innovation Centre at Barton. This was set up to look at integrated weed management. It's a really challenging site. We had over 65,000 seeds of blackgrass returned per metre squared last season. So it's a massive population of blackgrass. You can see here from the trial map that we're looking at herbicide trials, cultural controls and also application work. Let's have a closer look at the cultural controls. Look right, can you see the cultivator coming? Establishment technique is a big part of cultural control. At the site, we have looked at direct drilling, ploughing and minimum tillage using the cultivator you can see. Other cultural control methods we're investigating are drilling date, variety choice and spring cropping. Turn back to face the labelled plots. You will see on the left we have the ploughed area and on the right the minimum tillage. If you see the untreated, you can see that there's under half the amount of black grass in the ploughed area compared to the minimum tillage. So we're having a huge impact with the cultivation technique on the amount of black grass that we're su subjecting to herbicides. We have a whole range of small plot herbicide trials at the site investigating products and timings of application. Many years of trials have showed that stacking multiple active ingredients at pre-emergence gives the best levels of control. The untreated here has over a thousand black grass heads per meter squared. The plot on the left has a pre-emergent stack of four different active ingredients, including Defy, which has given 85% control. Given the high black grass pressure on the site, the plot on the right hand side had the same pre-emergence but was followed up with more residual at the one leaf stage of black grass, giving an additional 12% control. Application is an important part of the whole integrated management of black grass. Our trials work conducted here has led to updated application advice on water rates, boom height, forward speed and nozzle choice. If you look right, you'll see our trial sprayer coming down the field. We use this sprayer so that we can replicate application techniques as per commercial farm spray, rather than through handheld spray. Watch out, don't get hit by the boom. Pre-emergent spraying can be at more risk of drift, as there is no crop to catch the fine droplets. Travelling on the back of the boom, here you can see the sprayer travelling at 14 kilometres an hour, just how much drift is coming off of these flat fan nozzles. If you turn to the right, you'll see the sprayer travelling at 10 kilometres an hour, with much reduced drift by slowing down. We are now going to look at the effect of boom height on drift. You can see here the boom travelling at 70 centimetres above the ground, and just how much drift is coming off. If you turn to your right, you'll see the boom at 50 centimetres, which is the optimum height to reduce drift, as you can see here. I hope you have enjoyed your 360 tour of the Barton Blackgrass Innovation Centre. Watch out for more videos on our YouTube channel, or if you'd like to come along in person, our next open day is on the 26th of June. Please ask for an invite.